Hello, my name is Chris Thomas, and I'm known in the Northeast as the guy on the bike. Today I'd like to talk to you about video transmitter problems, video problems during a race and how you take care of those. This has been one of the most painful things to deal with as a race director. Uh, here is the way we like to deal with these. First and foremost, from through practice, through hands-on experience, I can tell you more often than not, when someone is having video problems, it is their equipment. It is not anything else. It's not the channel. The worst thing to have happen at a race event is for people to come storming over and saying, this channel's bad, this channel's bad. Now, I have seen that happen, but when a channel's bad, it's always bad. It's never good. So if you have a situation where the channel's good one race, bad the next race, you don't want that pilot who had bad video in their race to start this cult. That cult will start believing that that channel is cursed, that it's bad, that it's whatever. That's not usually the problem. Here has been my best scenario to get it worked out. If all quads are on the line, we need good video. So that can be done if we've got a DVR showing all the video or the pilots with their goggles. You can't test your video standing right next to all the quads because you're gonna have bad video. But if we can get confirmation of everyone who has good video, if one pilot has bad video, First step, power everyone down except for that one pilot. If his video is still bad, it's his equipment. You'll find more than 50% of the time, that's the case. If not, if everyone powers off, then he's got bad video, it's probably one aircraft giving him a problem, and that person has a bad video transmitter. So step one, have the, the lowest channel pilot, the you know pilot one, plug in. Is there a problem? Unplug. Next pilot. Problem? Till you find the problem. Usually at that point, you'll find out which aircraft is interfering with the other aircraft. The one who is causing the interference, not the one receiving the interference, is the bad aircraft. That aircraft should be pulled from the race. If you go through that process and you don't find one, then you have a harmonic that's probably happening, meaning two aircraft are creating a video signal that harmonizes and is creating problems for the other one. That can be a little bit more difficult, but you use the same trial and error problem. If you still cannot locate that problem and that pilot's video continues to be bad, the best thing to do is unplug him and do your best to move him to another race. That's it for fixing video problems. Don't be afraid to tell people, be quiet, let me figure it out, because the hard part is we have so many intelligent people in drone racing that they want to give you advice, and sometimes you don't need it. It gets in the way, so I kind of enjoy telling the guys to be quiet and let me fix it.